Hi, and welcome to the Brisbane Professionals Podcast. This is a podcast brought to you by SMS Law, going through the legal secrets that will benefit you and your clients, as well as having a little bit of fun as we go. This podcast is designed to educate you on, number one, complicated legal terms that we will explain in an easy to understand manner, two, to understand why you do things from a legal perspective in your business, and three, to help you develop a plan for the future success of your business. Our mission is to help empower small to medium-sized businesses around the world to get access to legal advice so that they can help build their communities and make the world a better place. Did you know that any business owner is on average seven months away from losing everything? That is the average time that it takes from a successful business to fold when an aspect of their business is not set up correctly. This podcast is all about empowering you and your business with knowledge and tools to ensure that that doesn't happen to you or to your clients. Let's begin, shall we? Hi, everyone, and welcome to the Brisbane Professionals Podcast. My name is Craig Mason from SMS Law, and I have with me Jeremy Stretton. Please say hello to everyone. Please, Jeremy. Hi, everyone. I hope you're having a great day. Absolutely. It is a great day. Uh, particularly, once you are tuned in to today's show, you'll be, uh, you'll be very happy uh, with your day. Uh, we're talking about structuring at the moment uh, and uh, that's structuring of your business, uh, company, uh, trust structure or uh, sole trader. Uh, and today we want to talk about the advantages of those and also the disadvantages of those structures. So there's many ways to be right in, uh, in structuring and there's always disadvantages uh, for some and different advantages for others. So we just wanted to go through those. Uh, as always, um, you know, this is general information that we're talking about for the specific uh, things about your structuring, then you do need to sit down with your advisors uh, so they have a full picture of exactly what you're doing. So uh, in any event, Jeremy, so you wanted to kick off today's show with the advantages of company structure and then also moving on to uh, the disadvantages. Yeah, thanks, Craig. So the advantages of a company structure, the, the main one is that it's a separate legal entity from the people behind it. So that means that if, if you're running a business through a company and it uh, you get sued, uh, you, the company gets sued, you don't get sued. Now, there are some exceptions to that, but the big advantage of a company structure is that separate legal entity status. Uh, from a tax point of view, for those accountants on the on the um, call, there's also advantages, you know, in the sense that you can retain earnings in a, in a company, you can pay less of company tax. Um, I think it's what 27.5% at the moment, but it, it's I think it's going down again soon um, in, in Australia and it's like 21% or something in America. Um, so, so you know, it's a pretty advantage, advantageous structure that lets you separate your business or your assets that you're going to own from the people behind it and lets you have multiple entities. That's another advantage is that you have multiple companies to do multiple different things and so you can separate out your assets and your business assets so that you know if something goes wrong you don't lose everything in, in one hit uh, as Craig said though there's always disadvantages and it really depends on your uh, you know on, on your personal circumstances so if you ha own a business in a company structure you can't um, take advantage of capital gains tax discounts. Now we won't go into all that, but uh, you know, when you sell a business uh, out of a company and the, um, the you pay tax on the full the full capital gain from that from that business. Uh, other disadvantages are that it's costly. Um, you've got to pay for ta extra tax returns. You've got to pay ASIC fees. You've got to pay um, or annual company um, fees. There's a bunch of other costs that come into having a separate. Um, Company, a separate company structure uh, that makes it disadvantage, disadvantageous. Um, in my personal view, I think that every business that's trading with the outside world should ha should be a company anyway. I think that the advantages way, um, way outweigh the disadvantages in a long way. Uh, but th you've got to be aware that there are you know, nothing's ever perfect, um, and the, there are disadvantages to that. So that's companies, Craig. Do you want to talk briefly about trusts? Yeah, absolutely. So in terms of the advantages of a trust structure, and I'll mention it now and also uh, at the end of this part, that there, it could be a, a trust structure and a company um, structure involved. So you might have a, a trust with a corporate trustee. Uh, so the advantages of the trust structure are you know, asset protection, uh, which is an, an obvious uh, benefit of the trust structure and the limits to the liability involved with that. Uh, you know, it might be useful for protecting uh, the income or assets for a young person or a, a family unit as well, which is an advantage of the trust structure. Uh, trust generally, there's more flexibility when it comes to uh, 
tax purposes and distribution of the income and capital gains uh, amongst the beneficiaries. Uh, the beneficiaries are not liable for, or generally not liable for the trust debts. And that's uh, unlike a, a sole trader, which generally we'll uh, touch on uh, uh, later. Uh, the trustee may, however, be uh, liable. And that's where the corporate trustee comes into play when you'd uh, be doing it this way, that we'd be advising in most instances to have a corporate uh, trustee. Uh, and beneficiaries of a trust uh, pay tax on the income they receive uh, from a um, from a trust at their own marginal rate. So there are tax beneficiary uh, tax benefits for the beneficiaries. As always, there's always a, a disadvantage or a negative thing about something. Uh, it's not always per perfect. Uh, same with companies. The startup costs are higher than a sole trader, for instance. There are uh, things you need to set up. Uh, companies uh, and trustees, uh, and there are compliance uh, issues going forward as well, which uh, increases the costs. Uh, you, you're restricted uh, to the conditions outlined in the trust deed, so that's the thing that governs the, the trust structure, and there are uh, more regulations that you need to comply with as well, generally with a, a trust uh, structure. Whilst there might be uh, benefits to the beneficiaries in terms of tax, uh, and those sorts of things. There are uh, some negatives and disadvantages, and that's about losses are not uh, distributable and uh, trust can't normally retain profits. So there's a, a trade-off there. So you need to have a look at all those sorts of things uh, when you're setting up your structure. And then once you've got it, it's not all happy days. There are some disadvantages to the, the company and trust. Uh, finally, Jeremy, sole trader. Yeah, so the advantages of a sole trader is it's, simp it's simple. It's just you. It's just you trading your business in your own name. That's about the only real advantage. <laughs> and I think you know, for a business, it's really um, you know, if, if any sort of scale, um, you you shouldn't be a sole trader because the disadvantage disadvantages far outweigh the advantages. Uh, f for instance, in, is one disadvantage is you have to pay tax on every single dollar that comes in. Second, that you're liable for everything that happens in the business. So if the business gets sued, you're up. You're, you've got to pay everything. Uh, it's just not worth it. It's just not worth it. Unless it's a side hustle or a very small business, it's just not worth having um, been a, been a sole trader. Because really, the only, as I said, the only real advantage of it is its simplicity. And you don't have to worry about too much regulation and tax and all the rest of it. Uh, but the disadvantages just make it so much worse. Um, yeah. You can't distribute income around all the advantages that we talked about in companies and trust. You, you don't get with a with a sole trader, so avoid it as much as possible, unless it's a, a side hustle type business that you're operating. So that's it, Craig. I think I've I made my point there. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. And um, you know, you might have you might start as a sole trader. People could be listening as sole mm -hmm. traders when they start their business, mm -hmm. uh, and you know, you can uh, put some steps in place to change your structure. Mm -hmm and speak to your advisors about it before you do it, uh, but you can change your structure along the way. It's not always um, set in stone uh, when you're a sole trader um, and any other structure for that matter. You might change it for whatever reason. So important to keep considering it and take the advice about whether or not it's the best structure for you. All right, that is it uh, for the advantages and disadvantages of uh, your structure for your business. Uh, if you've got any uh, questions or want to put any comments on uh, in relation to that, please get in touch with us. Uh, that could be through liking SMS Law on Facebook, uh, following us on Twitter or through LinkedIn through our personal uh, pages. Uh, we do share other information throughout the, the week on there. So uh, please uh, jump on and connect with us through that. Uh, also, if you could and you've enjoyed today's show, which uh, I hope you have, uh, please rate and review uh, the podcast. Uh, all uh, five-star reviews are uh, appreciated and will be happily uh, accepted. Uh, all right. Uh, anything else for today's show, Jerry? No, I think I think your, your request for five-star reviews is perfect. <laughs> Excellent. All right. Thanks, everyone. We'll see you next time.